Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Disgaea 4, A Promise Revisited. In the last episode, uh, I showed off a bit of grinding you could do on 2-2 and 2-3. And in this episode, eh, 13 is close enough to 15, and look at that attack power. I'd say we are pretty much golden to keep going in the direction of progress, but first I want to get uh, see if Valvatoris has a new skill he can learn. Nope. Sasha can learn a new skill, though. And Zapini can upgrade his fire a little bit. You know, let's upgrade it one more. And learn Mega Fire. Okay, so now he can target a 2x2 two two area with regular fire or a 1x1 one one area with uh, Mega Fire. Pretty good deal, if I do say so myself. I've also got loads of money, but with the uh, with the product rank the way it is, it doesn't really benefit me too much. So let's reset the enemy level back to one or back to zero and get going. Whispering Curse. Poor lass. Have you finally realized the stupidity of what you've created? Come out here and surrender. Upon pledging your allegiance to our lord as a prinny, we will grant you a painless execution. <laughs> I've had enough of your big mouth. Newsflash! Here comes our top secret final weapon! Hi, Measle! <laughs> You're back! This is your final weapon? Indeed, but, you know, he's a weakling. Are you sure you're fine with using him as your final weapon? Is that right? Are you weak? But you're the president's son! <laughs> Shut up! I'm not a weakling! I was just... sleepy and hungry! So I couldn't show off my full power last time! Are you here without your men? I assume you haven't reported your failure to your father yet. Uh, how, how did you know that? It's pretty obvious when a coattail rider such as yourself is out without their security detail. You're like a frightened little child who is in trouble with his father. Well, I suppose you are still a child. Yep, it's a measle again. This display keeps flickering for some reason. It's making me a little nervous. Anyway, he's got fire, wind, and ice, and his first skill, Soul Reaper. He's level 12 now. That's a thing. But I feel like humoring him a little. Let's say we... Let's say we try to capture some of the measles dudes. 
Oh no, the base panel has been destroyed. I guess we're just gonna have to do this ourselves. <laughs> Go, my two units, for great justice! All up to you, Fenric. Fucking mushroom getting in the way of the camera again. <laughs> this is gonna be a running theme here, isn't it? Kinda like how the honor quotient dialogue was a running gag in Disguise 3. Well, that happened. Could this be against a rascal like him? Lord Val, please get a hold of yourself. My lord mustn't let such an insignificant setback get to him. Uh, I won, right? This is Sir Amazel's victory? Mission complete? So sweet! Alright, I did it, Pops! Why is he so happy? Is it that exciting to have beaten us? This must be the first time the Weld has completed a mission. Yeah, and we've pretty much seen the rest of this ending already. Sounds like you were right, Ben. Shut up, shut up, shut up! You should be more concerned about your future! You'll pay for treating me like crap! You better prepare yourself for this! First, we'll start with tickle torture for three days and three nights! No breaks! There's no way out of this for you! Damn, well. You guys are the losers. You're in no position to call me wealth or rascal. Call me Sir Amizo, the only son of the president, Sir Amizo. Now say it, you pathetic, rebelling losers! <laughs> Sir Amizo? What was that? I can't hear you. Say it louder! Son of the president. Sir Imizo. <laughs> I knew it! I can do anything if I put my mind to it. I just didn't do it before because I didn't want to. But I'm gonna keep doing it from now on! I'm gonna do it! After suppressing the Prinny Rebellion, led by a Prinny instructor, Death Imizo went on to imprison every single rebel from Hades and carried out the mass extermination of the Prince. As a result, Prinny pollution within the Netherworld was resolved, and the Corruptorment earned much respect. Imizel continued to pursue his ambitions and establish Cerberus, the secret police of the Netherworld, to develop even more power. Any demon who spoke negatively about the Corruptorment, or even about Imizel, as well as any demon who ate a measles least favorite food, fish, were arrested and made to pay a fine. To oppose a measles tyrannical whims, some fish-loving demons formed their own union, called Leviathan. The battle between Cerberus and Leviathan caused much bloodshed and brought chaos down upon the netherworld. At that time, no one expected the netherworld to be extinguished only a few years later. We've already seen these credits too. Alright, so that puts us back on uh, back on episode one because reasons <laughs> so in preparation for this big uh, epic battle against the measle I'm probably going to uh, reincarnate all of my other uh, 
of my other units. At least they're... Actually, no. At least the main four units. Those being, uh... Those being Valvatores, Fenric, Rutile, and Stella. The other guys can wait a little bit. Alright. And by the time I've done that, we will be back on 2-4 and ready to fight a measle for real. See y'all then!